we're asked to determine the limits at infinity. Notice both limits involve the same natural log function, where the function is f of x equals natural log of the quantity 2x squared minus 3. For the first limit, x is approaching negative infinity, and for the second limit, x is approaching positive infinity. Before we take a look at the graph of the given function, if we know the graph of the basic natural log function shown here on the right, we should be able to determine these limits analytically without having to graph the given function. For example, for the basic natural log function, notice as x increases, the outputs or function values increase and actually increase without bound. Now looking at the first limit, as x approaches negative infinity, the input into the natural log function is two times the square of x minus three. So notice as x approaches negative infinity, we are going to square the x value, which will make it positive, then multiply by two and subtract three. And the minus three doesn't really matter because it will have a very insignificant effect on two times the square of a value approaching negative infinity. And since two times the square of x minus three will increase without bound as x approaches negative infinity, the outputs of the natural log function will also increase without bound and approach positive infinity, which is what we say the limit is equal to. Now remember when we say a limit is equal to positive or negative infinity, that really indicates a limit doesn't exist because it's not approaching a specific real number and plus or minus infinity is not a real number. And as for the second limit, as x approaches positive infinity, the input into the natural log function is still going to be two times the square of the x value approaching positive infinity minus three, which again will also increase without bound. And since the inputs increase without bound, so do the outputs of the natural log function and therefore the limit, and therefore this limit is also equal to positive infinity. And now let's verify this by looking at a table of values as well as the graph of the given natural log function. On the right we have the graph of f of x equals natural log of the quantity two x squared minus three. As x approaches negative infinity, we are moving to the left along the function. As we move left, we can see the function values are increasing without bound. They're not increasing extremely fast, but they do continue to go up and increase without bound, which does verify the limit of natural log of the quantity two x squared minus three as x approaches negative infinity is infinity. Similarly, as x approaches positive infinity, we move to the right along the graph. As we move to the right, once again we can see the outputs or function values do go up or increase without bound, and therefore the second limit is also equal to positive infinity. And of course if we want to, we can also verify these by using a table of values. So for the first limit where x approaches negative infinity, I created a table and used the x values approaching negative infinity of negative 10, negative 100, negative 1000, negative 10,000. Looking at the outputs, we can see they do increase without bound and approach positive infinity. Similarly, for the second limit as x approaches positive infinity, I use the x values of 10, 100, 1000, 10,000. And once again, we can see the corresponding outputs increase without bound. Again, they're not increasing very fast, but they do continue to increase without bound. I hope you found this helpful.